hey everybody thanks for coming back to my channel this week we're breaking down lucky girl syndrome my eyelid let's get into it all right let's start with verse one it goes one can she that mom and playlist on the selfie i say i'm lucky and that means perfect weather a playlist that fits just right today's selfie i say i'm lucky one can comes from the verb one kada, which means to be perfect or flawless Nashi is weather ta means suddenly or exactly precisely or perfectly Manlin comes from the verb matta, which means to be right or correct. Ona is today, and with the possessive particle e, it becomes today's. So, wan byokan nashi, perfect weather, tak manlin playlist, is the precisely correct playlist. Onure selfie, today's selfie, I say I'm lucky. Next line is, Say sang and chocolate, sunky just so sweet, kanjong and chicky, lucky go syndrome. And that means the world is chocolate, swallow it so sweet, the cheat code of positivity, lucky girl syndrome oo. Sesang is the world. Samkija comes from the verb samkida, which means to swallow. And if I'm not mistaken, the ja at the end of it means let's swallow it. Kunjong is an affirmation or any positive type of thinking. And it has a possessive particle at the end, so positivity becomes positivities. Cheat to key is a cheat key. Earlier this said cheat code, it was supposed to say cheat key, which is basically the same thing. It doesn't matter much. So, say song and chocolate, the world is chocolate. Some kids are so sweet, swallow it, it's so sweet. Kundong and cheat key. The cheat key to positivity. Lucky go syndrome. All right, now we're in the pre-chorus, and it goes. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need up golden ticket though. All I need, all I need, all I need, and just she don't mean them go. And that means I don't need, I don't need, I don't need any golden ticket. All I need, all I need, all I need is to believe in myself. Oton. When it's at the beginning of a question, it usually means like which one of these or which one or what particular one. But here it means any. Do at the end of a word usually means two or also or as well. So I'm going to interpret it to mean either. Okay, so I forgot one of the main usages of the ending do and it means even if or even. So I'm pretty sure in this context, the ending do means even. So it should mean I don't even need a golden ticket. Me is my. Jashin has a couple of meanings. One meaning is like confidence or self-esteem. And Jashin also means oneself. Minmin go is the noun form of the verb mitda, which means to believe or trust. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need autumn golden ticket though means I don't need any golden ticket. All I need, all I need, all I need, ne jashin minmin go is to believe in myself. Next line is. Finally, 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 the iro jukoya mejuno no ewo And that means finally, 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 everything will come true. Recite the spell every day. Da means all. Iro jil comes from the verb iro jida, which means to come true. And the ending ukoya is future tense. Quick note, and I'm only noting this because this will come back up later, but that verb iro jida is actually a shortened form of the verb. Iruojida, which means to be done or be formed, to be achieved, to be accomplished, to be realized, or to consist of or to be made up of. And Irojida is just a shortened version of that. So it still kind of means come true, but I just want to give you guys the full verb, not the shortened version. Me il means every day. Me means like every, and il is a day. A jumun is a spell, incantation, an order, or a request. Wewo comes from the verb wewuda, which means to memorize, learn by heart, or commit to memory. So, da iro koya means everything will come true. Meil chumunul wewo, every day memorize the spell or recite the spell every day. All right, now we're in the chorus. It goes, Yeah, look, yeah, I'm a lucky girl. Yeah, you're a lucky girl. Yeah, we're so lucky. Luck, 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 luck. And that means casting a spell of luck. I'm truly a lucky girl. You're truly a lucky girl. 
Chumunul koro comes from the verb chumunul kolda, and it means to cast a spell. But they, this is in a metaphorical sense, so you're not actually casting a spell. This is just referring to believing positive things every day and kind of doing positive affirmations every day. Nan is me or I. Jongmal means really. Non means you. Jongmal means really. So, chumunul koro means casting a luck spell. Nan jongmal lucky girl. I'm really a lucky girl. Non jong ma lucky girl means you are really a lucky girl, 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 girl. All right, now we're in verse two, and it goes. Take up our breakfast, some pick and best choice, do tuck and crossroad, shin hon and green light. And that means snap a picture of breakfast, choice is the best choice, arrive at a crossroad, signal is a green light. Chikobwa comes from the verb chikta, which means to shoot or film something. It also means to chop at or imprint on something or to dip. But this one is about taking a picture. I'm pretty sure the bwa at the end makes this a soft command. A sontek is a choice. Tokan comes from the verb tojakada, which means to arrive. A shinho is a signal. So, jikobwa breakfast, sontek in best choice. is snap a picture of breakfast, choice is the best choice. Dotakan crossroad, arrived at a crossroad. Shin Honen green light, the signal is a green light. Next lines are Maja Chinhune, Tojin Asume, Butyawa hashtag, Lucky Girl Syndrome. And that means, in the eyes I meet, in the burst of laughter, attach a hashtag, Lucky Girl Syndrome. Ooh! Maju Chin comes from the verb. Majutida, which means to meet, as in like your eyes are meeting. And noon are eyes. And e is just a location marker. Tojin comes from the verb tojida, which means to burst or pop. Usum is laughter. And then e is a location marker again. Putyoba comes from the verb putida, which means to stick or attach. Okay, last thing I have to say. I pronounced this verb as putida, and technically it's spelled that way, but it's actually pronounced butchida. So, Majuchin Lune, in the eyes that I meet, Tojin Usume, in the burst of laughter, Butyobwa hashtag, attach a hashtag, lucky girl syndrome, ooh. All right, now we're in the second pre chorus and it goes, So let me, so let me, so let me, get so chodun and go. And that means excitement, excitement, excitement continues to rise. So let me comes from the verb soleda, which means to be excited. And solemi is just excitement. Gesok means to continue. Cha orunen comes from the verb cha oruda, which means to rise or fill up. And gol is just a thing. So, solemi, 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 gesok cha orunen and gol means excitement continues to rise. Next line is. I believe, I believe, I believe, it'll join in the dead oh. Finally, 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 not you to ani. Together, you and me. And that means. I believe, I believe, I believe, it comes true the way I believe. Finally, 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 don't you have a reason? Together, you and me. Irojo comes from the verb iruojida, which means to consist of, or to be achieved, or fulfilled, or reached. Minnim comes from the verb mita, which means to trust or believe. Dero means according to, or in accordance with. Non is you. Iu is a reason. So, the word ani by itself means no, but in this context, it means... Do you know? So a comes from alda, which means to know, and ni is a question marker. So I believe, I believe, I believe, irojo minundero means it will be fulfilled according to what I believe. Non iuru ani means don't you know your reason or don't you have a reason? And then together you and me. Then we get the chorus all over again. And then we get the post chorus. And it's the same words from the chorus. It just goes. Oh my girl, Jumunu Korose. That's my girl, Lucky Girl Syndrome. Oh my girl, Jumunu Korose. That's my girl, Lucky Girl Syndrome. Yeah, I'm a lucky girl. And that's the end of Lucky Girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, you can leave your suggestions or corrections in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can find bite-sized versions of what I do here on YouTube. Anyway, I'll see you next Sunday, and in the meantime, I hope you have a great week. Bye!